Sometimes people don't want to hear the truth because they don't want their illusions destroyed. TV of Nick shoots on Batman. On some real stuff, bro. I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all something, man. What that man just said, man, most people don't want to hear the truth. Because they don't want their illusions to be destroyed. So that means they, the illusion that they see, the how this world is, they accept it for this world. Like, they got used to this fake world we're living in. So, most people don't want to hear the truth. Because they know deep down inside, the way they living is wrong, but they just don't want to hear it because maybe something is going right to them. And they don't want to give it up. But it's like, bro. If we would find a way to come together and do what we had to do, bro, it'd be way better for us to even go through that shit. Like, you know what I'm mean? saying? Like, motherfuckers are really like, like, do better, bro, because cause it's like, Most people don't want to hear that truth because they'll get angry. They want people to lie to them. And you got a lot of people that, yes, man, like, it, it could be even little stuff, not even just the big stuff, but you could have motherfuckers say your music trash and you gonna have a whole bunch of yes men around you. And they'll be like, damn, that shit nice, that shit cool. But in reality, you know damn well that shit ass, bro. Like, you know, you know, like, you know that shit trash, bro. But them people, they just gonna go with the flow they're gonna let you do what you do. And those are people that you don't want around you, bro. People not gonna tell you the truth. And most people don't wanna hear the truth. Like they like he just said, most people don't wanna hear the truth. Cause they just they like to lose and they, they just like the, the shit that's going on for them. So they don't wanna hear what people gotta say who really trying to help them and shit. No? People don't want to hear the truth in a relationship. When they have a female who's a snake and try to do shit like that, they try to come on to them. But your best friend, whatever, your homie, he try to tell you, oh, she doing this. But you so you so much in love that girl, you forget who your people, who who really has your back. But you so much in love this girl that you don't even see it. Like, she playing you. So a lot of people just don't want to hear this shit. And just like how this whole world living in, bro. Like, this shit, the way we live in, this shit not, we not supposed to be living like this, bro. Like, Working for working a job, slaving. Y'all make a minimum wage, bro. Motherfuckers homeless and shit, like, like that's just not how it's supposed to be, bro. Niggas paying rent, bills and shit, like, and then they just, now then you got people out here just scamming, like motherfuckers have to scam my grandma, UPS and all this bum and dumb ass shit, bro. I get it, cause niggas want that money and shit, but you see what money will make people do? Well, like I told you. Money is the root of all evil. But the thing is, the money was never the problem. The problem was the people, because it's already people that's evil, bro. That's what people don't understand. It's already people that's evil, bro. When people talk about the vaccine shit like that. And now that era, like people be like make they try to make it seem like, oh, you wrong for taking it. But you got people that never took it that died. And you got people that did take it that still here. And I bet you the ones that didn't take it, that dad wish they would have took it. Because people always, like, I'm one of those woke niggas that's like, I don't look at everything as fake. Like, I feel like them people in that summary, I feel like they really died for that shit because that's not the only time that ever happened. That's what people don't understand. And people don't know Mr. Beast was supposed to go in that same shit, but that was God saving them. Because, yeah, but come on now. It is, it, it, I, I never understand how people to say God not real. God know, like, Mr. Beast got a way more purpose than them. Not saying God, because like I say, I don't even be saying like, I don't even think that'd be, even be their time to go though, because a lot of that shit could have been avoided though. Sometimes you got to use your brain. Like a lot of this time they be thinking, oh, it'd just be their time to go, but it really don't like. <laughs> they just, that shit, a lot of shit could been could be avoided. Y'all just don't understand that. But I feel like with Mr. Beast, it definitely wasn't his time to go. That's why he ain't going. Same with the vaccine shit. It's niggas that took that shit. Ain't nothing gonna happen to them. Cause people be forgetting y'all grandparents and y'all great grandparents and something like that. They took a vaccine for polio, bro. And your grandparents still here. Cause they if they didn't if they didn't have sex and they ain't do what they was doing, 
you wouldn't hear it. Matter of fact, they didn't take that vaccine. Yo, half of y'all wouldn't even be here. Just like how it's going to be motherfuckers that's still going to be here. Because you got to look at God. You got to look at the future. God want us to have kids. It's a cycle. So, so they could be here and do shit. Change the world. So y'all should even. I look at the bigger picture. I'm woke. But I look at the bigger picture and a lot of shit. I feel like if you took the, took the vaccine. And you still here like me. Like we got way more purpose bro. Ain't nothing happened to you bro. And that's when, when was that shit like 2019, 2020 folks. It gonna be 2025. Still gonna be here. Y'all, it's motherfucker that that caught COVID this year. And y'all think that shit fake. Like, I understand motherfuckers don't trust the government, but sometimes you gotta understand, but we live in a world full of diseases, but they still and the only thing I do disagree on, bro, I feel like on I feel like a lot of people feel like, oh, they got a cure for cancer, but people don't understand these motherfuckers was been working on the vaccine. That's what people don't understand. Motherfuckers been working on that shit before that that whole COVID shit. They was because they already knew it was coming. Cause somebody nine out of ten, somebody already had it before. What it come out of cancer, bro? People be like, oh, oh, they. I know they got a cure for cancer, bro. You know why they they trying to find out a cure for cancer? But you know why they ain't got a cure for cancer? Cause it's it's different types of cancer. You could get lung cancer, skin cancer, breast cancer. It's different type of cancer. That COVID shit, that, that that shit was only one thing. Polio was only one thing. Polio was way worse than COVID. But that cancer shit, that's way, it's way more than that. And that shit could be avoided too, bro. Like, that cancer shit could really be avoided, bro. It's a lot of people just gotta eat healthy and shit like that. Like, it's shit that we doing that's causing that shit, bro. Then it's like, we knowing that motherfuckers putting shit in the food. Motherfuckers probably cooking humans and shit like that. Like, there's a lot of shit going on, bro. That's why I stopped eating McDonald's. That's why, I like, I feel like certain restaurants, it do be, like, regular meat and shit like that. Like, and I hate anyone that... Well, and, and, and let me tell you the truth about a lot of these vegans, bro. Bro, you... I'm going to tell y'all the truth, because that's on my name. You know, that's my channel name, you feel? <laughs> bro, you eating vegetables and shit, bro, you can still die. Like, it's a white... I heard it's a white lady that died just for eating vegetables. Too much of anything can kill you, bro. It don't matter if it's healthy or not healthy, bro. Sometimes you're supposed to eat sugar, too. You, you are so all that but you're not you're supposed to balance it out you're not supposed to just eat straight meat you're not supposed to just eat straight vegetables bro and fruit and shit you're gonna be weak and skinny so you can die you fragile bitch you can die bro but i hate how people try to make it seem like they try to make it think motherfuckers feel bad for taking that shit but they have the motherfucker that did take it they still here they have the motherfucker that did take it they didn't take it they still here but Hey, end of the day, motherfuckers still got a date, bro. If it ain't your time to go, it ain't your time to go. That's what people don't understand, bro. That's why a nigga that did take it still hood, cause it, it, the date that you already had is not gonna change, change because you took the shot, bro. Like you just, you, it was your time to go, it's time to go, folks. Okay, there's a lot of motherfuckers that died that didn't take none. They just died because of incidents and accidents, folks. Like, come on, bro. Like. Obviously, God wanted me here, but it was a chance I wasn't even supposed to be here, bro. But my dad looked he crazy, and my mama would have knew she wouldn't even mess with him. So God wanted me here for a reason. So if I wasn't meant to die from the COVID side, I wouldn't be here. But that's what. But it ain't nigga time to go. So just like how Mr. Beast, he could have went on that same summer ring with them people that died, them billionaires and stuff that died, and that nineteen year old. But God knew that when his time to go is Mr. Beast. He wasn't for to go out like that. That's not. That's not. That's not. Everybody not gonna die. A brutal death. Everybody not gonna die a painful death. Some people is, some people not. I feel like I'm gonna be one of the people that's gonna die a peaceful death. Like I don't see myself being like that. But I know anything can happen, but I just don't see it. But it's like, bro, like people, like this is what people don't understand. People don't want to hear the truth, bro. Like people gotta think everything not. And there is people in the government that got COVID. That's something anybody can get, bro. Like. And it's crazy, I never got COVID too. Like, that, that's the thing. I just took this shit. But I never got COVID. Like, it's motherfuckers that never took the vaccine and got COVID. I never got COVID at all and I took it. So I'm trying to show y'all it's levels, bro. So y'all gotta stop being so spiritual and so woke like y'all know everything. I don't know everything, bro. But people gotta make it seem like everything just fake. Like, motherfuckers don't get diseases and shit. Like, cause I bet you they found a cure for cancer, which I ain't gonna, if y'all, if y'all, I promise you, if your somebody in your family had cancer, 
you and they had a vaccine for it in the future, you would you wouldn't want them to take it. <laughs> Are you dumb? It's cancer. Cancer way worse than COVID. Niggas, niggas, polio was way worse than COVID, and they had a cure for that. They still don't got a cure for that because it's different types of cancer, bro. It's not one cancer, bro. It's different types. You could get different types of cancer, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's like if they had a vaccine for that shit, you don't want your family that got it that your parent, your family members that died from COVID. Cause I had family members in my family that died from that. If they had a shot for it, you don't want your family to take it. Or you gonna try to be spiritual and be overwoke. It'd be like, oh my god, don't take it. Bro, COVID cancel, but it still ain't no cure for that. But since it's that COVID and the gut bro, it's niggas that really died from COVID. It's a real disease. They've been working on it. Kids have been around longer. And they still don't got a cure for it. Half of y'all parents, half of y'all grandmas and, and all of them, your great grandma, they took a vaccine for polio. And polio way worse. Polio could damage you. You know what I'm saying? It's way worse than COVID. And COVID was still back and nigga was still dying from that shit, bro. It's people that really died from COVID. So niggas gotta make a, a, a cure, a vaccine for it. Like I said, I don't trust the government, but some some cases, if it's something like that, you got to. And I'm still a woke ass nigga, bro. But I'm just like, bro. I, like some part of me regretted taking that shit, but some part of me glad I did because I never got it, and I've been outside, and I never got the COVID. I never got it. I don't know what would have happened if I never took the vaccine. I, I don't know if I would have never took the vaccine and never got it. But we don't know that because I never got it and I took the vaccine. But you never know. It's somebody, but I, it's people that still get COVID right now. You feel what I'm saying? It's a real thing, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all the truth, bro. Stop being super, super woke, bro. I'm a woke individual, but I ain't God, bro. Like, come on, bro. And let's get back to this shit, like. People gotta understand, bro. The shit that's going on, bro. Like y'all know, it's it's fake, bro. But everybody just wanna hear lies, bro. Everybody just wanna hear that. That's why when people do fake ass pranks in YouTube and shit, y'all watch that type of shit and be believing that shit, thinking it's the truth. Like, oh, motherfucker doing fake ass breakup pranks and shit like that. Y'all just believing that shit, thinking they really breaking up. But y'all, but the thing is, <laughs> y'all watch shit like that though, and y'all still gonna get on nigga views. Y'all still gonna watch that shit, but when niggas speak on shit like this, speak on what's really going on, y'all don't speak on that shit, bro. Like, these motherfuckers, this whole shit is ran by demons, bro. And that's the truth, bro. These niggas, none of these places, all these countries ain't ran by good people, bro. America was built on violence, bro. Motherfuckers stole shit from, from, from people. Come on, man, like... And this shit going on to this day, bro. Like, why you think people that speak the truth that I do always get get killed? Cause they got shit to hide. They lie. They tell lies, but they want y'all believe everything they do, bro. Make it seem like they this this uh the god or something like that, bro. But when people see right through that shit, bro, like it's time to people see right through that shit, bro. Cause if it, it, if this shit was really supposed to be how it be, it wouldn't even be people like me making these videos, bro. Why you think when you do make certain videos, they try to they try to block your shit, try to take your shit down, try to find an easy way to take your shit down. You feel what I'm saying? Like they almost try to put me on strike too. If I would have got another strike, it could be a, just a video that I wouldn't even talk crazy on. They gonna try to find some way for me to, to for me to strike so that they could get my channel down. Feel me? But they knew they was wrong. Cause. And they know the type of videos I make. Like a lot of YouTubers make. They try to overheat your phone. They try to do a whole bunch of shit like that. People get killed for the shit I speak on, bro. Because they got something to have, bro. If you ain't got nothing to have, bro, why you worried about what I'm saying, bro? That's what I'm trying to tell people, bro. Niggas speak the truth. Niggas get angry. Because they know the truth hurt. And they know what I'm saying is true. They just don't want to hear it. They want people to tell them what's right. They want to tell them what they want to hear. Not what's really the truth. Y'all don't want to hear the videos on. Bro, you see how when 
all these big YouTubers and all these motherfuckers make the video they do, and there's nothing wrong with that. You see how the people that really try to wake people up, we don't we don't never get no view. We never you never seen a motherfucker that really just start out doing what I'm doing. Like the like like how other YouTubers that start out doing what I'm doing. Just like just like um uh, Solo Bernardo, you know, he started out doing reactions in 2K and stuff like that, and then he got into that woke spiritual shit. But the people that actually start out like that, and some people say he a hypocrite, he a fraud, he not this and that. But people that actually start out doing the video that I'm doing, we don't get no, we don't make it that quick, is like he did. Cause he already had a fan base for this shit. And that's the honest truth. Niggas that do what I do in the beginning, we don't get no love. You not for the, you, you crazy. Cause when you see other YouTubers that do funny shit like that and do all these fake ass shit and all that, you gonna see YouTube, like the actual YouTube channel. They'll come in that video, start laughing, and start doing anything like that. But we know YouTube is a part of that evil as agenda that they be trying to put restrictions on your video so you won't talk about some shit. They will never come on a video like like Maz and Visions World and Solo I, I mean they they know who he is, obviously. But the one that's small, bro, they'll try to get rid of our channel. But a nigga that got a fan base like 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 Soul Folk, like they ain't for come on bro, they ain't finna do that shit, bro. I feel like the type of personality that I got, bro, I feel like I can really make it on this shit because I'm different, bro. I've always feel like I ain't said I'm better than motherfucker, but I always feel like I'm the different type of individual. That's why I can really do what I do. You feel me? I'm a very rational dude. I don't come on these bits like, <laughs> so we're going to talk about this video. And I'm not like all these other niggas, bro. I'm a rational ass nigga. I'm like Malcolm X. I'm a rational ass nigga. I'm not like Martin Luther King, bro. I'm a rational. I get, I talk angry, bro. This shit pissed me off. I, I, I've really been depressed for this shit. Like, I, I really don't like the way that we living, bro. It's like people just walk around this bitch like, damn. I'm finna go to work. Oh, I'm finna get this. Bro, you a fucking slave, dumbass. Dumbass bitch. You was a slave, gang. You think you, you think you that dude? Even when you get a promotion, bro. Then it's like when you go. Hey, this how you know. Hey, I'm finna tell y'all the honest truth. I'm finna tell y'all the truth right here. When niggas go to go to go go to work, right, and they and niggas uh at a job, right? These niggas do no damn well and I don't just job, but niggas be on on a no TV. Niggas don't know niggas know damn well they ass do not talk like that. They be talking proper as hell, talking like a white motherfucker, you black. No damn well you talk ratchet as hell, bro. Niggas be at a job saying, Hi, how you doing? My name is Bro, you know damn well you don't talk like that, bro. That's what I'm saying. That's that. That's that. That's that slave mentality, bro. You looking at these motherfuckers like they your boss, like they your god or something. Like you, they better than you. It's like you got to bow down to these niggas when you got a job, bro. You got to act way different. Cause you know if you don't you try to act how you want to act, they gonna follow your ass. And now you out the homies. Now you got all oh, you got to find another job. But you gotta act. You don't even. You don't even act like your truth. So you gotta act fake, bro. No damn well you hate this shit, bro. How y'all niggas let me at these uh if these niggas was really doing this shit, right? Why y'all niggas be at these jobs and why y'all niggas be hating this shit so much, folks? Like y'all really hate what y'all what y'all be doing, folks. The only reason why I make these videos cause I want this shit to change, but I know it ain't gonna change because everybody used to this dumbass, a loser, fake ass where we living in, bro. Niggas don't see right through this shit. If this shit was so perfect, bro, if this shit was so real. Why is people like me making these videos? Cause niggas starting to see right through this shit. And God need people, God made people like me to exist so we can speak on this type of shit. Cause God, God, the Lord knows that in Jesus, whatever, they know the way we live in is not right, bro. They know that. The Lord the almighty savior god knows the way we living is not right that's why it's people like me doing this because if it was because it was really okay i wouldn't be doing this i really have to speak today i really was speaking in this video i really have to speak i really that's why this video is longer because i really want to say my piece in this shit bro orlando brown how crazy he is bro and the industry got him too the industry got them, y'all. I ain't gonna speak on that. But, yeah. He's speaking that truth. Niggas gotta pay for shit that God gave us for free, bro. 
Like, are you serious, bro? You can't be serious, bro. It's all about money with these niggas, bro. Like, money cool, I get it, bro, but I want freedom, bro. I want to be free, man. Type of y'all, man. Type of y'all people that be out here, man. Y'all ass can barely do what y'all want to do because y'all got kids. Got to pay bills. I have that money that you get. They use these dumb ass. Bro, taxes got to be one of the worst things to ever make, bro. These motherfuckers get mad when drug dealers do what they do. And I don't even fuck with that shit, but, but y'all take money from regular ass people illegally working for y'all dumb ass niggas. Working like a slave for y'all doing that just show these niggas don't give a fuck about our life. Half of y'all motherfuckers that be going to war, they don't give a fuck about y'all life. Y'all fighting a rich man's war. And all these niggas fighting for nothing. Let's just like these gamers, but they killing for nothing. For what? All these motherfuckers just doing shit because they want power, bro. Like, some niggas don't give a fuck about power. Some people actually care about the money and just being free and just do what they want to do. Niggas don't care about the power, bro. Fuck that shit. Half of these dumbass words is like the, the people that civilians like us, we always get caught in this shit, bro. We got to pay for these motherfucking mistakes because these niggas want to take over shit and have power over motherfuckers, bro. And thinking they God, they want to rule everybody like they a motherfucking... Like, who the fuck these niggas like they a motherfucking a king or some shit? Like, who the fuck is y'all niggas, bro? Who y'all think y'all is? Zeus? My nigga, like, who the fuck is y'all niggas, bro? Y'all ain't... Who y'all fuck out there is Xeno folk? Like you, you ain't you not shit, bro. You're human like me, bro. The only thing you got these man-made dumbass laws and these powers that put you above everybody. Come on, man. It be shit going on, bro. Like this shit evil as hell, bro. And you got random ass people. Like, like I said, some of these laws you do need, bro. Some of these jails you do need, cause you got people out here that want to kill people, hurt people. Like I say, the devil run this shit. <clears throat> We got people that's out here, and y'all understand this is a spiritual world we living in, really, bro. Like, this is a spiritual warfare, a war zone going on, bro. Warfare going on out here, man. That we can't see. I ain't gonna say it's spirituality every place in the, on the earth, because it's not. Like, you got some places where it's like, it's, it's, it's spiritual shit running around, but it's a lot of places in, in the earth that's not. That's why you don't see shit or hear the shit, because it's places on the earth that don't got spirits, bro. Stop. Like, it's literally places on earth that it is it's spiritual shit and most of them spirit be as a demon because you got weird ass satan satanists and people that worship the devil in this bitch folks. like why like why did it why i never see people like worship like something like angels and shit like you never see people worship the angels it's like people want to summon demons for what bro i'm telling y'all man the devil this is his playground bro it's like we we never seen we only see people make fake videos of motherfucking angels in the sky. You no know, damn well that's not them. But you never see people actually summon angels summon angels in their house like how they be summoning demons and shit. What type of evil motherfucker are you? Why people don't never do that? Like why people always summon bad shit? It's like bad outweighs the good in this world, bro. Good people get ate up in this shit, bro. And I hate the fact that it's like that, bro. I hate the fact that it's innocent people get killed for these evil ass, dumb ass niggas' mistake. Cause you got people that just want to hurt people, bro. And the good, and it's like good, like a good hearted person get ate up in this world, bro. And it shouldn't even be like that. That's why I wish God put us in the place where it was like all the good people that just want to do good, just live life and do this. I feel like it really won't be no violence, bro. I don't understand people won't get it too, but I feel like it won't be no violence to the sense of like, and it's crazy. Like, we just, I feel like it's a lot of people that just want to live life, bro, and just do what they got to do, bro. Like, we live in a world full of, full of dumbass people. We live in a, on the on, on the earth with like motherfuckers that's good. And there's some people that do be good, but how the world is, bro, how people treat them, they turn into a bad person, bro. But you got people that just evil as fuck. Like imagine if all the people that died get uh, died from evil, from get kidnapped and get killed with serial killer. Imagine they always here, right? No matter what era it is, 1980s, now whatever. Imagine it was just them. It was just us that was just good, bro. And good hearted people. And just we just lived on this planet instead of the bad people. We know how better this world would be, bro. Like, I ain't gonna say you ain't gonna have to have no security and you ain't gotta have no police, but you know shit happens and shit, but you know, it, it would be hard to say it would because 
I feel like the people that I have seen don't be trying to hurt nobody, bro. It just be people that I heard just trying to live like life, bro. And you got people that I heard that just want to hurt people again. That's why I hate this world we living in, bro. But I love it at the same time because I'm here and it's beautiful. But, you know, I know my people, human race ain't perfect, but God leave, bro. Imagine this world and they had good, kind of people, bro. This shit would be so different, bro. That's why I just have to think, like, man, imagine, imagine if it was that, bro. And that's the honest truth, bro. Like, people just used to this fake ass world we living in, bro. Like, I'm tired of this shit, bro. That's why I make these videos so I can speak my truth, bro. Now, you motherfuckers almost try to get rid of my tongue, bro. Like, these motherfuckers gotta sit down, bro. Like, when people speak the truth, bro, like, they don't wanna hear that shit. And it ain't even just, it could be some little ass shit with your friends and shit like that. But on, sorry, on a higher scale, bro, when you mess with the elites, bro, it's different. You want to you in a different type of lane that people can't even understand. They can't understand the type of lane no more. Because people won't even dare to do it. Sometimes it's best to not say shit. I get it. Like I said, you got people that really die behind what they believe in. And people that, people that really die for this. Like, come on, bro. Like, my Luther King, you know, feel me, feel like he's a fraud. I can't really say he's a fraud. I don't know, dude. But like I say, he couldn't be that much of a fraud. Motherfuckers hated his ass. Malcolm X definitely went a fraud. <laughs> Mom and Ali, man, all these people, man. Bill Russell was a part of it too. Like Fred Hampton, all R P like R P all these people, man. Like they paid the way for my for, for people like me, man. But just my generation, we just doing it on a different scale though. Like we just picking on anything though. They got all these CIAs, like all these motherfuckers, all these powers and shit. Like, who the fuck these niggas think they is, bro? Like, that's why it's like, it's hard for me. Like, I love life sometimes, but it be hard for me to, to live life, especially me knowing I'm black and we the most hated and shit. So, God, I feel like we the chosen ones and shit. But it's hard for me to just live life just knowing how fucked up this world is, bro. It just, that's why I always stay in my lane before I get changed, so. <laughs> so I don't want to get changed for the game, you know, but. I just look at this shit definitely like this shit weird as hell and this probably might be the one of the longest videos i ever posted on this bitch because i really wanted to get something off my chest bro like like i really wanted to get something off my chest with this shit man like this probably might be one of the longest videos or the longest video i think i gotta go look back i gotta look back to my videos but yeah bro like this shit weird bro like we live in a fucked up ass world bro like it's some good to it man but I know I got to do what I got to do. Like, I got to do that type of shit, man. And when I make it, though, I'm still going to speak on my shit. You know? And whatever I box and I sign to promote this, they still not going to stop me from what I'm doing. I ain't going to be like Ron Garcia. I'm going to do something. Bro. Real talk. Fuck that shit, bro. God put me in, like, like I say, what changed me, bro? I just started waking up to this shit. I wish I would have woke up sooner, bro. For real. But TBM Neutrals, I'm out, man.